Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute applique star. So, you need some worsted weight yarn, scissors, an H 5mm crochet hook, a stitch marker, and a yarn needle. So, let's get into it. Okay, to start, you're going to want to start with a magic ring or circle. And then in that ring, you need to put five single crochets. Pull your ring closed. And now you're going to be working in the round. In the first stitch, increase, so that means put two single crochets into the very first stitch. And then place your stitch marker into the first single crochet that you made. That will be the start of your round. Now continue to increase in every stitch all the way around. So in each stitch you put two single crochets. At the end of this round you'll have ten single crochets. I always like to double count just to make sure I have the right amount of stitches. <laughs> now this next round is where we're going to be starting the points. Slip stitch into the next stitch just to make it a flat circle. And then from there you're going to chain four. In the second chain from the hook, slip stitch. And then in the next chain, do a half double crochet, which is where you yarn over, put in your hook, and pull up the yarn, yarn over, and go through all three loops. Then the next chain, do a double crochet. Skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next one. That's your first point made. Now chain four and repeat the process again. So you will, in the second chain from the hook, slip stitch. In the next chain, do a half double crochet. And in the third chain, do a double crochet. Then skip a stitch and slip stitch in the next one. You're going to repeat this until there's five points. And then when you get to the end, slip stitch in the last stitch there, and pull up your yarn. You're going to want to leave a long tail if you plan on sewing it onto something. And just finish off your yarn by pulling it through your loop, and then pulling it tightly. And then you can weave in the little tail and use the long one to sew onto any item. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.